What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm out here today dedicating myself to my first ever bait caster session. I have only spinning reels, and I have this bait caster and this uh, salmon rod kind of sitting in the corner of my little fishing area, just collecting dust. So I figured I'd give it a shot today. Uh, I had 30 pound test on it, uh, 30 pound uh, Suffix 832 braid. And uh, I was practicing and getting tangled left and right and decided to uh, inquire. And uh, I think Mario told me, nah, strip that braid out. You'll have a tough time with it. Put on some 12 pound mono and you have a, an easier time. And uh, sure enough, he was right. All the other casts uh, afterwards were pretty clean. Only one bird nest I was able to pluck out. Seems like mono's a lot easier to untangle um, than braid is. So I put it on here. Maybe this will be my new perching stick. So we'll see. Got a high-low rig today. Um, Self-tie two looper knots on a 10-pound fluorocarbon. And I uh, got some sandworms. So let's give it a shot. Wish me luck. All right, first cast. Oh, that went nowhere. Terrible. Well, kind of weedy. I don't like weeds. Well, that's better. That's actually a lot better. I mean, obviously, the trick isn't to cast too hard. And of course, if you set your brakes and your um, line tension properly. I just had a little little nest there that I cleared out real quick. Um, if you set your brakes and your line tension properly in accordance to the weight you're using, um, you should have good success with uh, a bait caster in the surf. It's not a very windy day. Um, I'm definitely not getting the distance I normally would with my spinning reel, but I'm definitely a lot more efficient in my casting um, because I don't have to flip a bale and I don't have to switch hands too much um, back and forth all over the reel. So, you know, push a button, cast, and uh, you, click the, you click the handle to retrieve it in. That's really all it takes. So the distance I'm getting with this bait caster is actually preferred. I'm probably throwing it right into the troughs that I'm familiar with at this beach. Another nice thing about bait casters in the surf, if there's an undertow you want to work and have the line pull out for you, all you have to do is push the button. And the reel will do all the work. I thought I felt a buzz. Yeah! Check this out guys. My first surf caught fish on my channel. And of course it's a tiny little perch. My first bait caster catch in the surf. Hell yeah, I'll take it. All right, let's let this little dink go. Alright little buddy. Alright, send him on his way. Little silver or barred surf perch, little baby. Woo! That's actually a pretty common perch for this beach. But it's pretty cool to be able to have a first time in fishing. So that's my first fish caught in the surf on video. That's my first fish ever caught on a bait caster. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Two birds with one stone today. That was awesome. We just hit a milestone with Ish with Fish. I mean, it's a tiny milestone, but it's still a milestone. 
you know, just when you think you get to the point where you're gonna take all of your rods and throw them in the yard and turn them into garden stakes, a little catch like that and all of a sudden you wanna fish for the next decade. So I'm really glad I got to leave work early, got to um, bring out and dust off a rod and reel I never ever use. And um, I actually put a fish on it today, which is pretty cool. So until next time guys, I'm outie. That's a big old perch. Wow, look at that guy. He got babies. He got babies? Oh yeah. Wow. That's a big perch that's, right there. That's a slab.